Welcome back, fellow speed junkies. Buckle up and adjust your mirrors because today we're taking a thrilling ride down memory lane. We're about to count down the top 10 iconic cars from the high-octane, adrenaline-pumping saga we all know and love, Fast and Furious. So let's fire up those engines and get started. Revving in at number 10 is Dominic Toretto's The Muscle Car Maestro himself, iconic 1970 Dodge Charger. This American beast is no ordinary ride. With a chassis so sturdy it twists right off the starting line, it's been Dom's go-to choice for any job, time and time again. The Charger isn't just a car, it's an emblematic symbol of the Fast and Furious franchise, featuring in almost every film. It stole our hearts right from the start with that gigantic supercharger sticking out of the hood. Although later versions took on different looks, the original monstrosity from the inaugural movie cemented Toretto's reputation. It made him a villain without being a villain, the hero we could root for. From intense drag races to thrilling heists, this charger was always there, roaring away and saving the day in the nick of time. Now that's what you call a true hero car, blazing into the ninth spot. We have the Nissan Skyline GT-RR 34. When Brian O'Connor returned to his roots with this turbocharged beast, the audience knew they were in for a treat. A grand reintroduction takes place in Too Fast, Too Furious, where O'Connor showcases his mad skills with this monster in Miami. The scene is nothing short of insane, with a jaw-dropping bridge jump where O'Connor's GTR triumphs over a rival's Toyota Supra. Seems average by today's standards, right? But back then, this was one fiery stunt. It solidified O'Connor's love for highly tuned JDM sports cars and made the Skyline R34 a legend among Fast and Furious cars. Loaded with a full HKS parts catalog and an RB26 DDT engine tuned to around 450 horsepower, this car was ready for any high-speed action. Need more power? A 150 shot of nitrous was always on standby. The R34 truly defined Brian's character as a speed demon and marked a thrilling new chapter in the franchise. Sliding into the eighth position is the Nissan Fairlady Z, also known as the Z33. Introduced in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, this car isn't just known for its slick moves, but also for its menacing driver the Drift King or DK. This guy didn't just challenge the hero, Sean Boswell, to a drift race, he won it, effortlessly guiding his Z33 Fairlady Z through a multi-story parking lot in downtown Tokyo and even pausing for Boswell to catch up. This Nissan wasn't all looks and no substance, though. With a full-body kit from Veilside and 19-inch Veilside Andrew Evolution Vuzz wheels, it had the look of a drifting demon. Add in an APS twin turbo kit boosting output to a ferocious 460 horsepower and this car could rule the streets of Tokyo. The suspension, lowered and tightened, aided DK's drifts, while the stock Brembo brakes brought the beast to heel when needed. Talk about a sinister ride. At number 7, we're dialing back to the beginnings with the bright green 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse GT, the car that kick-started the Fast and Furious saga. Driven by Brian O'Connor, this car was more than just a mode of transport. It was a statement, a declaration that bold is beautiful, audacious, and even inspirational. The Eclipse GT didn't just turn heads, it influenced the automotive culture in real life. Agent Bilkins in the movie may have winced at its $80,000 price tag, but was it worth it? You bet. Underneath that flashy green exterior was a rebuilt 420A engine churning out 165 horsepower. Throw in a 75 horsepower shot of nitrous and you have a car ready for any street race. Despite most modifications being aesthetic, this is the car that paved the way for Fast and Furious to become a global phenomenon and remains a symbol of the franchise's roots. Zooming in at number 6, we have the Lycan Hypersport, a car that defies the laws of gravity and sanity in Furious 7. You remember the scene, right? The one where Dom and Brian, when faced with a hail of bullets, decide that their best course of action is to jump their Lycan Hypersport from one skyscraper to another, not once, but twice. Because that's what you do when you have a car that can reach 0.60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds and a $3.4 million hypercar at your disposal, right? This Lycan Hypersport, in all its brief glory, created one of the most memorable stunts in Fast and Furious history, leaving jaws dropped, hearts pounding, and eyebrows raised. It's a fleeting moment, but a moment that reminded everyone that the Fast and Furious franchise will always find new ways to push the envelope. 
At number 5, we're headed to Europe with the 2007 Porsche 911 GT3 RS, introduced in Fast 5 as Diogo's sleek blue 996 GT3 RS. It was won by Dom Toretto for Brian O'Connor. In Fast X, the same character was seen piloting a green Porsche 997.1 GT3 RS before it met a fiery end, courtesy of a well-placed bomb. These track-focused versions of the Porsche 911 represented a turning point in the franchise, signaling a shift to more high-performance, factory-tuned European sports cars. And while there aren't any modifications listed for the 911 GT3 RS, its stock performance is nothing to scoff at. It's a true testament to the evolution of the Fast and Furious franchise, demonstrating that you don't always need aftermarket mods to be Fast and Furious. In the fourth position, we've got a true Japanese legend, the 1997 Mazda RX-7 FD Veilside. Appearing in Tokyo Drift, this RX-7 was anything but ordinary thanks to Han's exquisite taste in cars. As unique as the man himself, this car was the epitome of standout styling, with a full veil-side visual treatment and a catchy orange and black color scheme that was impossible to miss. Although the performance modifications were mild, with a custom intercooler, an HKS turbo kit, and colder spark plugs pushing out 306 horsepower, it was enough to keep Han ahead of the game. The RX-7 was the perfect expression of Han's character, stylish, unique, and always ready to make an impression. Sliding in at number three is the Fast and Furious 10 star car, the 1975 Datsun 240Z, driven by Isabel Neves, Elena's bad sister. Sporting a bright yellow wide body kit and supposedly powered by an RB26 engine from a Skyline GTR, this Datsun was a major nod to JDM culture. In reality, the car was powered by a Chevy small block V8, likely chosen for easier sourcing. Some stunt cars even appeared to be turbocharged, with visible turbos and intercoolers, but those were mostly for aesthetics. The 240Z was a perfect symbol of the series' unending love for cars, a beautiful blend of style, performance, and history, a true icon in the Fast and Furious franchise. Power sliding into our number two slot is the 1992 Ford Mustang Fox Body, as tough and scrappy as its driver, Jacob Toretto. It's almost as if the car's ruggedness and grit are a reflection of Jacob's character. A proud symbol of American muscle, the Fox Body may not have been the fastest or most powerful car in the series, but it was durable, dependable, and full of surprises. Beneath its scruffy exterior, it held a 5.0 V8 engine and had seen its fair share of battles. But what set it apart was the fact that it served as a mobile command center for Jacob's covert missions, outfitted with secret compartments and devices. The Fox body was the ultimate wolf in sheep's clothing, proving that sometimes it's what's inside that counts the most. And here we are, the moment you've all been waiting for, snagging our top spot. It's the car that started it all. The car that turned the Supra from a respected sports car into a cultural phenomenon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 1994 Toyota MK4 Supra. Driven by the late Paul Walker, the orange A80 Supra is a symbol of the Fast and Furious franchise. It may not have the dark and brooding charm of Dom's Charger, but it had something else, a youthful, underdog energy that made it incredibly relatable and endearing. In the climactic final drag race of the first movie, this car went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Dodge Charger and in a literal twist came out on top. Originally owned by technical advisor Craig Lieberman, the Supra packed a punch with 569 horsepower plus an additional 100 shot of nitrous. Its rise to fame alongside the franchise led to skyrocketing prices and cemented its status as an icon. The Supra, like Paul Walker himself, became a lasting symbol of the franchise's spirit, vibrant, daring, and unforgettable. And that, folks, brings us to the finish line of our fast and furious vehicular voyage. We hope you've enjoyed this turbocharged trip down memory lane. Don't forget to rev up that like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more automotive adventures. Until next time, keep your engines running and your spirits high.